Okay, take three. <laughs> I had to restart the voiceover again because these messages keep showing up saying, uh, building playback buffering or something like that. And I just lowered the speed so the video will be a little bit longer. But, um, so this is my first voiceover and I'm sorry if my voice sounds really crummy, I guess you could say is because um, I think I'm starting to get sick because I'm starting to lose my voice and stuff. My throat hurts a little bit, but I wanted to do this because I was excited because I had never done this before. So right now I am building a um, house. It's, well obviously it's a house. Um, I'm playing The Sims 4 and I'm building a house like an olden day mansion, I guess you could say, is what I was trying to go for. So, um, yeah. So right now I'm just building the outside of it. That's the style. Now I was looking off a picture on this uh, house, but I changed the wallpaper and everything inside because all I saw was the front and I liked that idea of the uh, octagonal shape underneath the square um, room on the top so yeah I changed it up a little bit so now I'm just picking some wallpaper or siding for the outside of the house and I came across these um, papers with boards and stuff across it and I thought that looked really old in time so I did that but you'll see in a little bit that I did change the color of the boards because I changed the bottom to wood siding to make it look even more unique so yeah Do, do, do. Um. Oh yeah, that tree right there kept getting in my way. Like it kept going over my screen, and I'm like, no, I couldn't see because I couldn't see. So yeah. Um. Oh yeah. See right here, you can see that I changed the bottom to wood, and then I changed all of the wooden paper above a different color so yeah um yeah I just thought it looked really cool and later you'll see that I did change the like smooth parts of it to um different like this smooth part I don't know yeah you probably don't see the, the smoother parts I changed those because to me that looked a little weird because there was like a line going through everywhere except for those specific spots but yeah so I'm still working on the wallpaper outside of the build. Once we get in the inside it'll be a little more interesting. Okay. So now I'm trying to pick a door and I went with an arch door still, but yeah. Sorry, it was buffering again, if you could see that. I, I don't know if you can see that or not, but... Mm, I don't want to mess with it anymore, so... And plus it went by really fast, so thank God. See, I ended up going with that door. At first I didn't think I was going to, but then I ended up going with that door. For the front door. 
and then I was thinking I'll just do that later so I can get like the inside marked out and then yeah now I ended up putting those windows all over but I didn't end up using those windows all over I only used them in that spot by the door but see those windows I ended up using not those but those one windows I ended up using other places those windows I ended up using all, all around the house except for right by the door Sorry if you hear background noise, it's just my heater and I'm moving my laptop around. So, see how I put those windows there? I decide not to use those windows in the end. Alright. So, let me know in the comments below what else you would like me to do on my channel. I think that would be quite fun. Yeah. But my goodness, this video, when I was recording it, before I sped it up, it was literally like an hour and a half, and I just sped it up to uh, 26 minutes, I think. So yeah. Now, I'm really not sure why I did that, but, I mean, it looked good in the end. You'll see I'll add, like, plants, and, uh, at the very end, when I was showing off everything, I decided to add a grill there. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite part. Um, I like how the rocks are around the center, and I love how I put the bush there in the curve area. I just thought that looked really unique. But, now that I'm watching this, I just remembered I forgot to add a mailbox in the front. I don't, I paused for a second there because I think I was talking to my dad at that point. Hmm. Oh no, I was trying to do move objects. That's why it didn't move anything. I kept getting it wrong for some reason. I love how I put all of those flowers around the edge right there. That looked really unique. And then the other windows, I used uh, boxes. But honestly, I had so much trouble with the terrain because there's so much room on this lot. And I wanted a smaller lot, but I couldn't find no smaller lot. And this is in Windenburg, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah. See, I tried to go all fancy with train painting and stuff, but honestly, there was just way too much room. But in the future, maybe I'll do another video on an upgrade of the uh, train. But after this video, I'm going to do a part two video. And that's me making the sims that are going to live in this house. And leave in the comments below if you want me to do a um, let's play with this family. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to. And if you do want me to do a let's play, I will warn you that I'm not going to be able to do uh, like upload every day. There might be times where I don't upload in a one week. Cause I can't promise you anything because things come up all the time. Like whenever I say I will upload, I end up not uploading. Because something came up or something. So I'm not going to promise anything. But I will do a let's play if you want me to. Um, I might do an, like a couple ups episodes anyways. But... I don't know. I love what I did with the white flowers. That was really awesome. I had fun with the white flowers. 
around the area like that. See, I made the front of the house look pretty darn good. Oh, you know what I should have done? Put a pine tree, like, right on that corner there. That would look cool. Oh, well. I could always, um, fix it later. Yeah, I did end up adding a fountain that's really not that old and realistic, but like I said, I had trouble with terrain. I really did not know what to do with the terrain, so that's what I came up with. Okay, so here I am marking out the rooms in the house and like the kitchen area, the bathroom. I did not do the bathroom there. I ended up moving the bathroom into the living room. Yeah, right there is the bathroom. And then I put stairs there to go upstairs. I don't know, that looks really weird. Now, I just realized I forgot to lift all the other windows up. Oh, well. Um, so this is the kitchen. Now, up here is where are the bedrooms and the study. So, my plans for the family is there's going to be um, a mother and a father, but they're not going to have a baby yet. I'm going to make them have a baby at the house. And the grandma's going to live with them. This is when my dad came upstairs and I got distracted. Now it's buffering. There we go. Okay. So those are the rooms. Right there's the study. Oh, actually, yeah, you don't know where I'm pointing. You'll find out when I start decorating where's the study and the bedrooms and stuff. So now I'm working on the kitchen, and I had trouble with like this counter thing that I wanted to make, but in the end I made it work. But yeah, I tried to go with like old lights and stuff, like you see those chandeliers, oh my gosh my throat hurts, uh, sorry. Sorry if I don't talk that much, it's cause my throat is hurting now cause I'm talking. So yeah, that's the back wall, um, I put like that old stove, like that's perfect for the house, the old stove, but yeah, here's where I had a little trouble trying to make it work the way I want it to, but in the end it worked out fine. Yeah, those would not go where I wanted them to go, so I was just like, eh, screw it. <laughs> then I ended up getting rid of those corner things and just using normal ones, just putting it. Yeah, that one would not fit in the... Yeah, see, I tried something else, and that didn't work either. So I just got rid of those corner things and just put it together that way. So, yeah, like that. Well, like that. There we go. And then I added a bar, like a two-bar thing. and Yeah, I ended up putting that like that and that like that. And then I finally figured it out. Now I'm just picking bar stools to put there because it's technically like a bar breakfast area. Yeah, I tried to put some really old pa pots and pans hanging down and then I realized that they were sticking up on the top so I got rid of them and I found shorter ones like that. So, yeah, I'm glad I found those shorter ones. Okay, now I am getting the table picked out. Yep. 
And I try to use old looking chairs. So yeah. My cat's over there just meowed. He's so cute. I decided to put those wine bottles there because that makes it a little more realistic because I mean that is a bar area. And then I put cupboards and stuff. I love what I did to that, that back wall where I'm putting the cupboards. You'll see in a little bit. I thought it looked really cool. Yeah, this is what I did. I put like a stone wall right there. Then I changed two of the cupboards to have like dishes because I thought they were all too this, too much the same. And I added that. And I was going to add more there, but then I didn't. I was just like, yeah, whatever. And then I tried to put like an oven thing there, but it wouldn't fit. And then I found a different one that did fit right there well somewhat you could still see it through the cupboard but yeah okay and then now I'm picking out a rug to put underneath the table I thought that was too small I made it big and then I was like whoa it's sticking out the side don't want to do that made it back to small and just left it the way it is yeah like that and then I added a rug over here yep like so. And then that's the kitchen. Although, in a little bit, I add a little more. After I'm done with the living room, I find other stuff that I could add. So now, right now, I am putting doors onto the bathroom and, like, all the uh, rooms. It's buffering again, sorry. But, um... Yeah. Sorry, that glitched really bad because of the buffering, but I don't know how to fix that. This is my first voiceover, so I've just kind of accepted the fact that it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> Especially because my voice is acting weird. So I tried to find like an old, like, couch, and I thought that seemed pretty old, like a olden day granny couch I guess you could say um so yeah now I was gonna do that TV but then I'm like well I mean it is old but I just feared that it would break too much so I did end up adding a flat screen and I'm just gonna pretend that that came from the olden days sorry about the buffering again um I'm just glad it's not buffering as bad as it was before, so, yeah. So, here I was trying to pick out a bookcase, the oldest looking bookcase I could find, and that was it. Because <laughs> it, the books looked really old. Like, you know, when you go into, like, a courthouse, and then you're waiting in this room, and there's all those books that look really old? Yeah, like that. Okay, so I added shelves and stuff in here. Um, I had a little trouble trying to get some uh, the candles, I think is what I put up there. I had trouble getting the candles on the shelf, but I managed to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was trying to discover what button it was to raise it up, but I found it in the end. And then I had trouble trying to line it up on the shelf. So, you know, it was floating. Yada yada. <laughs> there we go. Mm-hmm. And I added that plant there, which I thought looked really cute. 
then another plant there. And then I found a really cool coat rack thing to hang right by the back door. See, I thought that was really cool. Then I decided to add that in the kitchen. Like I said, I once I was doing the living room, I found stuff that could go in the kitchen. I don't know what just happened. I think it just glitched out. But yeah. Okay, okay. See those two things or stuff that I found too for the kitchen. All right, now we're working on the bathroom, and I like how subtle the bathrooms are in this build. This is a uh, four bedroom, two bathroom build. Wait, one, two, yeah. Four bedroom, two bathroom build, and then there's a study upstairs. So now I'm trying to pick out some um, shades to put over the window, the windows, because, uh, well, you don't want people looking in your windows when you're taking a poop or something. <laughs> and then I ended up getting rid of that window because it got in the way, so, yeah. What you gonna do? See, look how subtle the bathroom is. It's like light. I, I don't know. It's not that bright in there, and I kind of like that. It kind of gives the feel of a little bit more privacy, I think. Alright, so there's this stand that I kept trying to find, but I couldn't find it. It was uh, the coat rack, or whatever it's called. It's like a stand that had like a coat and a hat hanging off of it. I could not find that anywhere. So I just ended up going with uh, hanging that up right by the door. So, yep. All right, so now we're upstairs and we are going to work on all the wallpapers and carpets first. And then we are going to start decorating. See, I just kept picking all kinds of uh, wallpaper first because I felt like it was going too long because that's when it was at like like an hour and something. So I was just like, yeah, I'm going to hurry up and pick all the wallpaper and carpet. So yeah. Okay. But I would love suggestions on what else you want me to build in The Sims 4. Heck, if you're a Minecraft lover, I'll build stuff in Minecraft too because I haven't played Minecraft in a while. So I think that'd be interesting to get back into that a little bit. Okie dokie. And I changed the color of some of those lights because they just were all too s the same. So yeah. Okay. So now I'm working on the upstairs bathroom. I love those a little bit better. I wish I used those downstairs. But, uh, so the upstairs bathroom was more of like a blue and brown theme, but most stuff in this build is brown, because brown is just more, I don't know, it reminds me of the olden days, I guess it's probably just stereotype, but, like, I'm sure they had colorful stuff in their houses too, it's just, I don't know, I just wanted to go with this look. Then all of the dressers were exactly the same, but different beds. 
Um, I picked the beds with the long, tall backboard and footboard because those kind of remind me of uh, what the olden day people used to have. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Who I'm talking too much. So there was no room to put a door on the outside uh, to go in that last room right there. So I just decided to have a door in the study room going into that bedroom because it's, it is a study room. So I mean, you can walk through the study room to go into another room. I figured it would be a good thing. Sorry for the buffering, it's buffering again, which is kind of driving me nuts. Um, yeah. Okay, so I know it's kind of hard to see because it's probably acting up for you too, but I am building a little sitting area, book area, in the upstairs empty area because I didn't know what the heck to put there. Yeah, I wonder if it would have been better if I would have played through the whole thing first and then recorded my voice, but that would have taken forever. But editing is something that you have to be patient on because in order to make it good. Okay, so now I'm doing the overview of the upstairs, the downstairs, um, yeah. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all in my next video. And remember, you are perfect. Bye, guys.